Hello guys, this is a video on how to set up an IAR workbench for HM10 module that is CC2541 or 40. We will be covering these topics here. First setting up of IAR workbench, then settings to be made for IAR workbench so that it is compatible with CC debugger and the third one burning my first code. So we will start off with our screen here we will start off with what we call oracle virtual box because the cc debugger generally the license version is very costly so people usually use oracle virtual box for running it i have already run one so this is my virtual box Second thing is we will be running an XP version on it, Windows XP, then installing uh, the CC workbench. So this is how the workbench looks like. Now I will be opening a workspace that has a simple peripheral code. The code is placed in 2541 sample codes. So I will open this test.eww that is my test workbench there are some following settings to be done uh, for running the debugger so right click the debug go to options here you have to select which device you want to make your code for so I have 2541 so I select 2541 here and uh, next you go SM. next is linker check what is the default linking file if it is fine I sometimes get some issues regarding CC debugger then I used to erase the flash and then start again but now I am not getting those issues so I have stopped that it is a very simple code I will go through the code the first thing is uh, you have to include IO cc254x underscore bitdef dot h for all bit definitions secondly I have to include iocc2541 dot h the header file for the chip next I'll put a delay of around 10,000 uh, in order to have a difference between the LEDs blinking and not blinking then I'll configure the port 1 so there are few things to be taken into consideration so the HM10 module has these uh, pinouts so my TX pin is a P1.6 port 1.6 dot, uh, bit of port 1 RX is P1.7 DC is P2.2 DD is P12.1 sorry uh, reset is reset uh, P1, PIO0 is P1.3 PIO1 is P1.2 PIO2 is uh, P1.1 that is also your PWM you can generate PWM signals through it uh, PIO1 is your LED key uh, PIO0 is your system key so it, it can be used for resetting the system PIO3 uh, starts uh, with uh, P1.0 PIO4 to PIO 11 it is your whole P0 port and all are ADCs and also it can be made as general purpose IO especially P PIO 11 can be used uh, for DS uh, 18 B 20 and DST 11 that is the temperature sensor uh, coming back to the code uh, so what we need to do is in order to make the P1.0 bit toggle what we have to make is we have to first select the P1 port the whole port and make it for GPIO so bit 0 will make it uh, putting all the 0th pin of that uh, port 0 will make it as a GPIO now what we have to do is uh, select the direction of the GPIO so uh, a bit a 1 will make it output a 0 will make it as input so we are making as an output bit and now first switch off the LEDs so P1.0 becomes 0 then it goes to while and then a delay loop 
uh, delay loop is around 10,000 uh, counter of 10,000 and then again makes the bit 1 and then again goes into the delay so in that way you can toggle your bits there is a short demo if you want I can run that so this is now in the running phase so we will we can go side by side went into that uh, again I will put my cursor to this bit this bit and I will select run to cursor now it came to one so in that way you can debug your code line by line and it's pretty easy thank you for watching the video